Das fragt die Mutter, ich war näher sehr. Ich war wie lieber in einem kleinen Teich, denn in mir gibt es Haie und die Frosse noch gleich. Ach du Schreck, ein Fisch ist weg. Vier kleine Fische, das schwammen im Meer. Das fragt die Mutter, ich schwane euch sehr. Ich war viel lieber in dem kleinen Teich, denn in mir gibt es Haie und die Frösche in euch gleich. Ach du Schreck, zwei Fische sind weg. Drei kleine Fische, die schwammen im Meer. Da sprach die Mutter, ich war nie sehr. Ich war viel lieber in dem kleinen Teich, denn im Meer gibt es Heu und die fressen euch gleich. Hack, du Schreck, drei Fische sind weg. Zwei kleine Fische, die schwammen im Meer. Da sprach die Mutter, ich war nie euch sehr. Ich wär viel lieber in einem kleinen Teich, denn im Meer gibt es Hai und die Frösche euch gleich. Ach du Schreck, vier Fische sind weg. Ein kleiner Fisch, der schwammt im Meer. Da sprach die Mutter, ich war nie dir sehr. Ich wär viel lieber in einem kleinen Teich, denn im Meer gibt es Hai und die fressen dich gleich. Ach du Schreck, die Fische sind weg. Ein dicker Hai, der schwimmt im Meer. Er sagt zu sich, ich kann nicht mehr. Ich hab so viele Fische in meinem Bauch. Ich konnte platzen und das tut dir dann auch. Ach du Schreck, der Hai ist weg. Ach du Schreck. Alles sind weg. We have made this character design again using Scratch for Class 6 easy presentation. Here when we click on any parts of this particular character, we can customize this character to our own liking. We can get different types, shapes and colors of ears, different tails, different types of faces and different colors of fur. We can customize this and make this to a character that we like. This is a quiz master game that has been made using C language. When we start playing it, it provides us two options. Press S to start and Q to quit. I'm pressing S and here comes my first question. Who invented computer? I'll give um, option number 3, Charles Darwin. It tells the answer is wrong. The correct answer is option number one, Charles Babbage, and I not get any score. Which is the most sensitive organ in a body? I'll give option number three. It is telling that the answer is correct. Next question. Brain of computer is, I'll give CPU. It is telling my answer is correct. What city is the Statue of Liberty in? I guess I'll give option number one, Chicago. Now it's telling the answer is wrong. The correct answer is option number two, New York City. Next question. Name the first female Indian astronaut. I'll give option number one, Kalpana Chawla. And my answer is correct. If I give a correct answer, my score will be increased by one. And if I give a wrong answer, my score will stay as it is. Now, question number six. Who was the first person to discuss about the black holes? I'm going to choose option number one. Albert Einstein. That is correct. Now question number seven. What is the formula of general relativity? I'm going to choose option number two, E equals to mc squared. The answer is correct again. Now question number eight. Who was the first person who wrote about nebula in his book Almagest? I'm going to choose option number two, Ptolemy. The answer is correct. Now question number nine. Who was the first person to spot the Andromeda Galaxy? I'm going to choose option number one, Abdul Al Rahman Al Sufi. The answer is correct again. Now, the tenth question Which female astronaut spent the maximum time in the space? I'm going to choose option number two, Sonita Williams. Now, so let's see, it's correct. And my total score is eight. Now, it says press Y if you want to play the game once again. If you want to play, you can press Y.
and if you if you don't want to play it again you can press n so i don't want to play it again i'm going to press n this is a snake game that I have made on scratch for the ECA presentation of 2022. My target of this game is to reach length 2 by the time the timer reaches 20 seconds. When I first start this game, the snake will spawn to a random position on this given map. If it eats the banana, its length will increase by 0.1. See now that it has eaten the banana, its length has gone from 1 to 1.1. If it eats the apple, then its length will decrease by 0.5. See, now it has gone to 0.6. If it touches the yellow obstacles, it, the game will end and it will show you lose. Also, if I cannot reach length 2 by the time the timer ends, it will stop automatically and it will show you lose.
everyone. I am Abrija Biswas from class 6 8D, rule number 8. Today I am going to explain what is Sudoku, how is it played and where it has come from. So Sudoku is a math crossword puzzle game played by Japanese and it is mostly found in Japan. Now I will be solving this in a few seconds. Now here you can see that there is no repetition of numbers. In Sudoku, there is no repetition. The name Sudoku is attributed from the Japanese word Suji wa Dokushin Mikagi which means the numbers or digits must remain similar. In Sudoku, we must keep in mind that the numbers should not repeat horizontally, vertically or clockwise. Sudoku is very easy. Let me show you an example. Sudoku. In Sudoku, we need to know some of the basic things which helps us to solve the Sudoku in a very easy way. We all can see this figure over here and we can see certain names given over here. We have a column which is also known as a vertical line. We have a row which is also known as a horizontal line. And we have a small four boxes which is uh, consists of one particular boxes. So now let us try to solve this four digit Sudoku. As the numbers given over here we can see the smallest number over here is 1 and the biggest number over here is 4. So we need to find the missing number over here. We can see the numbers given over here is 1, 3, and 2. So the missing number we can write over here is 4. Same for the horizontal line over here we can see the missing number is 2. Now next if we come to second horizontal line 3, 2 and 4 is here and the number missing is 1. Coming to the fourth horizontal line over here we can see the numbers 2, 4 and 1 and the missing number is 3. Now in the third horizontal line as we can see the number given over here is 4 and 2 and the missing number is 3 and 1. We cannot write 3 over here because as per Sudoku there should be no repetition of a number so we will write over here 1 and the last number missing over here is 3. So this is how we solve the 4 digit number. I am from classes A, D, G, D, B, La Center for Education. Some people believe that Sudoku is a mathematical game, but it is actually a game of logic. Sudoku helps us to think critically and improves our concentration. It also reduces stress, anxiety, and develops problem solving. This is Ahana and today I am going to show you how to make paneer popcorn. Now I will take a bowl and add 1 4 teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon ginger garlic paste, 
वन टी स्पून ब्लैक पेपर पाउडर वन टी स्पून मिक्स हर्ब्स एंड सॉल्ट एज पर टेस्ट नाउ मिक्स द स्पाइस वेल After mixing, add one teaspoon oil and our mixing is done. So now I will add the paneer cubes into the spices and mix it well with the paneer. So our paneer marination is absolutely ready. Now I will take one fourth cup corn flour in a bowl, add salt as per taste, and. 1 teaspoon black pepper powder now slowly slowly add water and make a thin paste the paste should be watery absolutely ready now put the bread crumbs in a plate take a paneer cube dip it in the corn flour and coat it with bread crumbs repeat the process once more so it should be double coated and our paneer is ready Similarly repeat the process with the other paneer cubes and our paneers are ready for fry. In a karai put some oil and once it is hot slowly slowly dip the paneer cubes. After 30 seconds turn the paneer cubes. Just see the golden brown colors of the paneer cubes. Isn't it looking nice? After frying it for another 30 seconds, take off the paneer cubes from Similarly fry the next batch. So our tasty and crispy paneer popcorns are absolutely ready. I have served with coriander chutney, tomato sauce, and mayonnaise. respected chairperson judges members of the audience and my fellow speakers today i aritre ganguly i'm going to speak against the motion but first i would like to disagree with my honorable speaker isha datta who said that it is not possible to pursue a prosperous career by staying at your hometown and i believe that nowadays in this digital age hybrid learning is an alternative to offline modes of learning and thus we can balance our life by staying physically with our parents and also pursuing a prosperous career I feel that leaving home at the tender age of 18 is not very sensible since the world outside is not totally safe and children are unaware about imminent danger not only that if children leave home early they might become lonely and morose virtual communication is not as effective as staying with our parents physically besides children might even spend their money unnecessarily or fall into bad company leaving home early might also create indifference towards parents and later on in their parents old age children might ignore their responsibility altogether thus considering all these points i feel that children should not leave their home at the age of 18 and i would like to end my speech with a quote by jesse jackson who rightly said that your children need your presence more than your presence and i believe that not only do children but even our parents need our presence more than our presence and with this i would like to rest my case respected uh, chairperson judges members of the audience and my fellow speakers i am mani gupta now is speaking against the motion i beg to differ with the first of her native speaker with himasha kar who said we can go out and seek career but don't you think that we have responsibilities towards our parents and society they were there for us when we were young and now it is our duty to be with them in their old age it is also our opportunity to be with them uh, when they are old and uh, return what they gave us Uh, children when turned 18 are said to be adults but in my opinion age of 18 is a very crucial period when you need your friends and family by your side also it is better when you live with your parents under one roof you are more comfortable to talk and they are more accessible than to call age of 18 considered as age of adulthood should be spent by the uh, parents side that to go out and seek career you can have a career in your hometown too and you can uh, spend the money you earn on necessary things instead of asking for money uh due to moving out of town people go under depression or might be homesick and parents are also under stress uh, also at this age what peers you have matters for uh, you can have bad uh, 
and unhealthy habits under bad influence. And with this, I would like to conclude that living with your parents at the age of 18 is better than to go out and seek career. You can have a career in your hometown too and you can be a better person living with them. And with this, I would like to rest my case. Hi everyone, we, the students of Jiribilla Centre for Education Class 7, will present the public speech topic of how pandemic changed the society. The COVID-19 pandemic has led to a dramatic loss of human life worldwide and presents an unprecedented challenge to public health, food systems and the world of work. The economic and social disruption caused by the pandemic is devastating. Tens of millions of people are at risk of falling into extreme poverty, while the number of undernourished people currently estimated at nearly 690 million could increase by up to 132 million by the end of the year. Millions of enterprises face an exponential threat. Nearly half of the world's 3.3 billion global workforce are at risk of losing their livelihoods and formal economy workers are particularly vulnerable because the majority lack social protection and access to quality healthcare and have lost access to productive assets. Without the means to earn an income during lockdowns, many are unable to feed themselves and their families. For most, no income means the food are at best less food and less nutritious food.
you feel.